Hi, welcome to Erica's Welsh Garden. Today I wanted to have a quick catch up with you and let you know what's been going on in Erica's Little Welsh Garden while I've not been around on YouTube very much. So um, firstly, since the beginning of December, everybody in my household has been ill at some stage or another and I'm just getting over my third cold of the season. So I've not been able to get out as much as I wanted in the garden. And when I have had the time, like today, it's absolutely torrential rain out there. So um, yeah, I just miss all of you really. And I wanted to do an update so you knew kind of I was still alive and um, what I've been up to really. So firstly, before I start though, I just wanna say a really big thank you to all of my new subscribers. I'm really lucky, I seem to have picked up quite a few recently and it's fabulous seeing you kind of commenting on my videos and seemingly enjoying the content that I'm doing. So I'm really pleased with that. Um, if this though is the first time you're watching one of my videos and you do enjoy it, then please do hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you can be notified of all of my latest videos. So, at the beginning of the month, I was kindly asked by Jane Kelly from Jane's Allotment to participate in a video collaboration called The 12 Tips of Christmas. So, it was myself, Jane Kelly and 10 other channels and we all gave our top tip for gardening. Um, if you've not seen that video, then it's definitely worth having a look. What I'll do is I'll put a link to that in the description of this video and do have a look because there are some fabulous tips in there and definitely there will be one tip that you can take away from it. Um, while I've not been gardening very much this month, I have kind of spent a lot of time revising things, planning my allotment you know, and how I'm going to do gardening here next year. And it's been great kind of watching all of your videos, um, all of the other channels videos out there because there are some really great inspirations that I've taken away from that. Now I've not managed to comment on everybody's video that I've watched so what I need to do is kind of go back and um, do leave comments because you know there are some really great ideas and videos out there at the moment and it is really good when it's raining to kind of spend a bit of time catching up with kind of all of my allotment friends and other channels and seeing what everyone's up to. Um, because there really are so many kind of great inspirations out there at the moment, especially with the recent kind of um, roundup challenge that was going around. It was great seeing kind of what had inspired other people and how people had got on this season and what their plans are for next season. And that's definitely given me loads of ideas to plan kind of for what I'm going to be doing next year. Also, I've kind of got my seeds organised and I've also got some such exciting seed news. Um, I'm going to have to cover it in another video because it's so exciting. Um, but yeah, I'll come back to that another time. But yeah, I've just been kind of organising my seeds and deciding what I'm going to be growing next year. A lot of people have actually said that, you know, they're going to really take time this year to make sure that when they plan what they're going to grow next year, they are really just going to grow the things they're good at growing or the things that they want to grow. Um, <clears throat> along with kind of catching up on a lot of people's videos, I've also been working quite a lot on my Instagram page and I've also made a Facebook page as well. So if you search for Erica City Welsh Garden on either Facebook or Instagram, my pages will come up. I don't have a Facebook group. I've chosen purposely not to have a Facebook group but it's just a page, but if you head over to that and like it, you know, it's a great place where you can see what I'm up to when I'm not filming videos, but also it's a great place where you can get in contact with me as well, because um, one thing that, you know, I've got out of doing collaborations with other channels and reading and having comments from my subscribers is it's really nice having that community. So do, you know, send me a message um, because I love, you know, reading them and kind of interacting with you as much as possible. Um, also, my sister for Christmas gave me a rambling rose. I can't remember the name of it, but um, I will cover that in another video because I need to work out where I'm going to plant that whether I kind of plant it at the allotment for kind of a little while, while um, I work out at home where I'm going to put it. And I've also been given a, um, a fig tree, which is a climbing fig tree. And I'd always planned on having a climbing fig tree on my terrace on the patio against the lovely kind of um, red wall there. But obviously you'll know that I've got a crack in that wall. So I don't really want to put a tree there and let it establish climbing all over that wall if 
one, the wall falls down, or two, you know, we have to get the wall taken down and made into a thicker, better wall. Um, but that's not something I have in the pipeline anytime soon. But I have a um, fig tree that is in a pot that will need to be put in the ground somewhere. Also, I have a pear tree. Um, it's a duo pear tree, and I need to work out where I'm going to put that as well. Um, I really shouldn't have possibly bought it without knowing exactly where I was going to put it, but it was a great price, and I was really, um, I was really impressed with the um, Victoria plum tree that I got, and I got it from the same supplier. So, yeah, in hindsight, possibly I shouldn't have got it when I did, but at the time when I did buy it, I was planning on putting it in the ground. It's just December kind of got away with me, really. Um, and I'm guessing I'm probably not the only one that feels like that because all of a sudden when we have had time to get in the garden, the weather has been really, really bad. And thanks very much for all of you that attended the live chat at Liz's um, the Friday before last. It was so funny. I don't think either of us have laughed that much in absolutely ages. Um, we watched it back later to kind of read and catch up with all of the comments and we were kind of in hysterics again just watching it. So um, thanks very much for everyone that was there and kind of contributed to the humour of that chat. It was great. Um, we enjoyed it so much. We are going to be doing another live chat this Friday. So if you're around at nine o'clock, put that in the diary and head over to my channel then because it is going to be funny. Um, we've got some other things planned as well, so it'll be great to see you. So I'm going to head off now because I've been chatting for absolutely ages. Um, but it's been great to kind of catch up with you and let you know what I've been up to. Um, I also wanted to quickly let you know as well that my chilli plants are still doing really well overwintering up in my attic, along with my pumpkins that we haven't eaten yet. They're all still really good and firm and haven't got any signs of rot on there at all. But just remember, if you are overwintering your chilli plants or you have um, pumpkins or squash that you haven't eaten yet, just keep checking on them so they don't go to waste. Anyway, like I said, I'm off now. Thanks for watching. If you are new to my channel though, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified of all of my latest videos. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye.